Hello, July. What is going on? I can't believe we're already halfway through the year. This is amazing, though. I feel like this year has been really transformative for everybody. And so this will be the messages for July for all the zodiac signs. You can go to each individual video, but make sure that you are also not only looking at your sun sign, which you probably already know what that is, but looking into your rising sign and your moon sign, because this is going to give you a little bit more of a personalized reading without having to get a personal reading. And, um, and that's going to help you as you go throughout the month, just some nice messages from your angels, your guides, your, your higher self. And then also I have weekly videos for all the zodiac signs that go I go into each individual sign as well and then I also have bonus readings and then daily lives that I do so make sure you're subscribed to the channel and sharing this with your friends because these are complimentary readings so why wouldn't you just share the fun and the wealth and also it really does just help the channel and get out get me out there into the lovely land of YouTube so I did pull some cards for the collective before we go into, in, into the individual sign. And I pulled from the uh, Beach Bounce Life, the Pure Ocean Heart deck. And the message is, just like the tides, everything ebbs and flows. So this is the message overall, is understanding that everything is ebbing and flowing, right? So you may feel like you are literally in the ebb and you're like, are we ever going to flow again? Are we going to have that wonderful, beautiful energy of things just flowing forward? Yes, everything's cyclical. You have to just always realize that and know that when you're at the bottom of the wheel of fortune, you will get back up to the top. And so in order to accomplish this for the month, I, from the Ocean Goddess deck, I pulled the buoyant card. So it's all about being buoyant, being in the flow with the universe and understanding, okay, you know, you're still in the water, you're still bobbing around, and you may not feel like things are flowing, but you're going to have a big rush of energy this month that's going to take you to the next place where you need to be and the next steps as you continue to develop and learn as we all do in life, no matter how old we are or how young we are. Um, but this is just saying, you know, don't force any situation this month. This is all about staying true to yourself. And if something feels good, go for it. If it doesn't, just take a step back and relax and listen to what your angels and guides and your inner self is saying for you to move forward. And then you're going to, you're going to know, okay, well, maybe things aren't flowing right now, but there's a reason why that, that has been blocked off and the, another floodgate's going to open up for you. So you just never know. So make sure that you are tuning into that as your mantra for the overall collective and we'll get into the readings bye all right virgo let's get into it let's see what your mantra is for this month are you writing from the heart that needs to be your journal prompt for this month okay you need to understand if you're not writing from the heart things aren't going to manifest I do see that you're going through a bit of a transformation this month, which is really good, and it will be successful. It will be a little bumpy because I do see that there's something that you've been working on that you've invested in that isn't really giving you your return on investment, and it could be love or it could be a vice or a virtue, right, that you thought was going to go your way and balancing things out in your life, but it just isn't working. And especially with the two of pentacles, things are out of balance. That's okay. Things will be fine. What's going to make or break you this month, meaning getting through this challenge from the universe, is there could be a little tiny love offer, an apology, a lackadaisical apology coming in. So just be wary that if something feels that the cycle is already done with the ten of swords, it's done. You can't beat a dead horse. Like, it's done. You can't put any more knives in this guy's back. Because I do see that... There is a little bit of mischievousness around you coming up for you this month that's going to test these boundaries to see if you're really over this cycle or if you're ready to move on or if you're stuck in the past, okay? And this is also, you know, being aware of people that are a little dishonest, um, that are trying to pull the wool over your eyes and to get what they want. Or I don't see this as you doing this. I see this as someone in the past because the Ten of Swords, it's done. It's done. You have to let it go. That's your recent past. So once you go through this transformation and stop thinking about the cups that are, you know, they're giving you discontentment because they're they're spilt over, you know, and you're waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for things to happen, do know that the universe has your back. And the reason why you've been put in this, this place 
of solitude, if you have a play, if you have a little bit of solitude this month, that's okay because you're meant to recalibrate and readjust what you really want in your life. Okay, remember we are creators of our own universe. We are all creating our own movie every single day. Like every day, we're creating with our thoughts. So we're always constantly being tested to go back and re revise our our affirmations because we want to make sure if, if that's what we really want, right? I do see that there is a total emotional happiness available for you this month and coming in. Um, and this is going to make you maybe make you feel a little uncertain because you might be treading water feeling like, oh, what am I doing? I'm not going anywhere. But this this is available to you. And if it isn't something romantically or a passion project, think about how you treat yourself. Think about what you can bring to your to the table for yourself to feel and be this this ten of cups. OK, I do see that in love um someone is very attracted to you they want to be around you or you're attracting the person that you've been trying to manifest or the love and like that that beautiful fulfillment um and so while you're doing this the universe is also asking you to please just get lost in a novel under a palm tree remember you're on this little timeout rest area there's no need to feel left out in the cold. You're warm. You have everything you need. You just need to recalibrate. And so take some time away to sidestep away from the chaotic nature of everything and stop focusing on the on this, this manifestation that's taking forever because it may or may not bear fruit right now. I mean, this tree, is, it looks dead, right? But the, the fruits are there, but they're not fully there of what you expected. So Ultimately, you will manifest if you're writing from your heart and you have pure intentions. If you have any ill intentions, it's it's going to be hard to manifest what you want. So be clear and speak to your heart this month. All right? Love and light, Virgo. Bye.